Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Kargzank playthrough as the Spide of Sotek Dwarfs in Warhammer, in Total War Warhammer 2, where we are using uh, various mods, the uh, Faction Unlocker mods, which are linked down below. So I've been out of this for a little bit, so I'm just, just reorienting where I am. Uh, we are just fighting... Uh, I need to wait for that to be to built. Battle. We are we are currently at war over here. And we're gonna have to push up to Clara next, but we are at war, rebuilding here, um, and at war with the um, thingies. Official term that thingies, Vampire Coast. My Rune Lord has leveled up. Ooh. I am gonna, mm, I'm gonna grab Inspiring Presence because I definitely want to buff up his army a bit as well. You have already found the Empire, so we probably want to head up here and cross the mountains. I will listen, but my time is short. Will you trade with me? No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be squishing them, so I'm definitely not trading with them. What? You have a proposal? We are willing to hear it. Disagree with that? Oh, they keep rejecting my trade deals because they're mean. Alright, let's uh, get my capital building up a bit. I do want to sort that out. Can I say all of that? I was sitting there saying I want to sort that out and get defenses. I'm relatively safe for the moment. Because we've got it ahead of me. The thing I need to remember is when the vamp, when you when the vampire, when the uh, end times happen, the they will hit us in force. <laughs> no. This is where I wish I could trade settlements because I'd actually say yes if they give me that gave me their settlements. Basically, here we are going to end up controlling Western Lustria. I think is our current aim. Um, I won't push out to the coast anywhere else. We're just going to keep that one coastal settlement, which will be fortified to the hilt. Uh, eventually, you know, we'll put all big walls and things there you because we will chaos invasions all. there. Nope. They know what is going to happen, guys. They are desperately, I mean, they don't necessarily know, but they must suspect that I'm going to go to war with them. Is there a long run I almost want to potentially send an army up here? The Knights of Arrigo have been destroyed. It is slowly going up. I didn't think it was. Oh no. Yeah, it is slowly going up. I thought it might be bugged. Uh, straight to growth. Rune Ricky. Casting the runes. If you say so, be it link. Vengeful Rune Lord. Armed and ready. What? That is also. I will have to move him next turn. We're not doing badly. Hmm. our archers. In 
Oh wow, we encountered more Skaven. Yeah. And more dwarves. Make your proposal. My long beards grumble. Agreed. Protector of the realm. I guess this is it for now. I said, I'm really not particularly worried by the vampire pirates now. They have been reasonably battered back, at least that faction has. We will have the other guys to deal with up here, the drowned. But again, I'm not overly worried at this point. I've got a peace treaty with them for now. Um, and keeping all the lizard men on the coast gives us a nice buffer versus anything else which will come for us. Like I said, we'll probably garrison and build a big army down here to resist any chaos invasions because a big chaos force does spawn down here. And yeah, we'll potentially, once we've got ourselves nicely set up and done, dealt with all the vampires in Lustria, we may, we may reignite the War of the Beard, guys. Because now we've met our old, our old friends, we know about it, and send a mass force over to Lothan. It seems like a good way of, en of ending the campaign as the Dowie. Have Red Axe back. Lord of Clan Morgan. Time for a reckoning. My axe thirsts for war. Moving. I. This has been done. Can I help you? Yeah, I was suspecting there wasn't much there, and it's another port for us. And it puts us right handily next to Burgon. Bow before the rightful lords of the realm. Who are not allied with anybody, so I can have some fun glory. battering them for a bit to sort my grudge. I am ready to parley. I hope you'll Sigma's will. Head up and find Marienburg, actually, if I can. Gosh, then. Ooh, ooh, they've already taken some territory. I was hoping um, I'd find Middenland. Mm. Let's get the extra growth. Hungrim Red Axe is now a taskmaster. I'm not sure what that one does. Extra movement range, guys. Uh, spent multiple turns in March Dance. Okay. I'm, I'm more than happy to take a movement range buff. I do love these. You can get lazy, which reduces it, which is horrible, and you can't really get... I don't think you can really get rid of it. I know... Ooh, yuck. Well, we're uh, in another war up north. But it's uh, our, our friends, so I'm happy to go into that war, though we are not necessarily positioned well for it. That said, we're actually moving all our armies up there, so... Um, we've got the Drowned in the middle as well, so... And I think they're already at war, so we'll, we'll be able to position up there nicely to uh, push against them. And they have... Their main settlement is incredibly good. And then I guess we end up pushing against the Dark Elves, which are also somebody we don't like. Because the Dark Elves, there's Dark Elves and Skaven and Beastmen, and the North in Nagarond is. Nagaroth is nasty. Beastmen. 
say at all what there's beast been hurt all the way up there. Right. There looks to be one just there. I'm leaving. Time for a reckoning. Forwards. Shoulder axes, lads. We move. As the High King commands. Trade resource. And the forge fires glowing. Move. Oh wow. Nothing to do here. Let's go. Okay, the Empire looks Forward. fairly strong. Greetings from Sigma. Agreed. And is happy to trade with me. Now the real question is, do I go to Orph Drowned as well at the same time, or do I let them... Well, I need to... I, I'll look if they're at war with uh, Hexlotl next. Otherwise, yeah, if they're not, you know, it's whether we want to go to war with them and face both at the same time, or we want to bypass them to kill the big toad, but then we'll potentially end up in a war where we're a bit more spread. Let's hear what. Nope. Now, my real worry is if they ever go to war with Itza, and I may even downgrade my defensive alliance, which will make me less reliable. But I think having a defensive alliance with them is a bad idea. Please tell me off for playing with my wedding ring. That is what you heard bouncing on my desk. How are they still alive in Grungzint? That's quite impressive that they still live, because they've usually been obliterated by this point. We're quite a few turns in now. Ooh. The risk the Rick has sealed the dwarf orb, the great bar lays across the mountain doors, the deep in the deeps, the iron gates have come crashing down, severing the underway. Why would the Lord do this is a mystery. So it's been sealed, which means we're getting less income from it. From Inoxil, which is uh, annoying. Vengeful own lord. It's not close enough, but I don't, I'm not going to fight it. This should be a relatively simple victory. Um, but I want to fight this one because it, it's just not close enough, but I don't want to risk not fighting it. This is a weird map. Yeah, you can't actually set up on the other side. What a weird map. Axes out, lads. Quarrelers. Ah. Understood, Lord.
caught. For the carrier's anchor. That needs to die fast, though you can also intercept it with a lord. Killers. Strike out! Anu! Dwarf warriors! Anu! Faster! That'll do. Quarrelers. Yes. We are relentless. It is a reckoning. Ready to strike for the ancestor gods. Let's take them out quickly. It is a reckoning for the ancestors. Ready to strike. Do we answer? Okay, now you guys can offer turn and face them. They're already breaking. Oh no, they're not breaking. Oh yeah, they are. Come at them! Oh, those dwarf unleash! Strike out! Getting right behind this line and then we'll fold in. I will do it! Fireball up at them! I think we got one. Quarrelers, break your targets well. Well done. We demand blood. Shred that unit next. They're all gone now. Less damage than we'd have taken if we autoed it, basically. Just gonna double time from here. Nice, solid victory there. And we have our second port from Jorak Starkeeper. Oh, we were going to rename somewhere after him, weren't we? Well, we're going to rename here. He has successfully led the campaign which Red Axe failed. So I can't rename the region, but we can certainly rename places. Uh, I don't necessarily mind renaming some of the other places because obviously they are... Yeah, we, we still let lizard men come through these places while we build dwarf things in them, but we will we will rename this place. No change. What's this called? So which part of Barak means port? Hang on. No, it doesn't really say. I'm, I'm going to assume it means port. Please tell me when, that I'm obviously wrong. And rename this Barak Starkeeper. Clan Armed and ready. Right. Moving on to glory for the ancestors. Let us be about this. It's not that I don't trust Vengeful them, but I completely and utterly don't trust them. Uh, there's, uh, there are beast men around there somewhere. Don't test me in So great. they are not the power of at war with Monday. <laughs> Ride. Wow, the Empire is, um, aggressive expansion, I believe is the correct term. What? Um, wow. Ooh. 
I have not seen the Empire do that for a while. So we have a strong Empire for a change, which is good. Um, hopefully means they will be able to fight off the other threats. Which makes Grungzint being in existence even stranger has now been taken out. But they've got Carossal as well. Wow. So it looks like Marienburg got battered early on. And the Empire may have uh, done well from that. Oh, I wish I was in the old world for this one. Because that's a different balance of power than the last, the last few games I've done. The Vampires have always been very much ascendant by this point. I just wish I could trade with the Dwarves. And it looks like there is not peace over there. We're going to curve around and come back down here, potentially find some of the elf, elven factions, but... I'm moving. Bow before the rightful lords of this land. Just so. Nice. Right, let's take this hit now. Zazul Surga Yudula. I'm sorry. Tribal fury. And we are still very high. I guess we didn't betray them. <laughs> Honor to your answer. Aww. To war. Come, come, kin. Let us feast and drink fine. To give them military access, I was kind of hoping I could, um... The winds oh, may shun they me. they get wiped out. But I am still a master at inflicting pain. He would demand some money off them as well. Consensus. Nice. Men have been around here. I can tell from the shrines. Rune breaking. Onward. Shoulder axes, lads. We move. Forwards. Taxing there. Just check we're taxing everywhere. This is worth doing every so often because you find things like I'm not taxing here. soon which will be nice though I don't get buffs the rangers for most of my lords so mm. we've made peace there I don't I'm not planning on you know I'm not fussed I'm not I will go back to all of them if needs be it just means I can ignore them for now oh we need to go have some fun playing with Bergon 
So we're going to move this army over. We're going to have three battles, win three battles with them to get rid of our grudge. And then I will have peace with them. And they will be friend and be friends with them. And, you know, if they don't completely hate me. Either that or I'll just wipe them off the face of the planet. One or the other. Tell you what, Skeggy right. are doing well. Let's hear what you have to say. Yeah, by all means, have a non aggression pact. So we're going to sail down here, find some elves next. Um, and find some more uh, Bretonian factions to speak to. I don't trust them. I don't want them anywhere near my territory. Fight! We will fight this. Again, because I don't like the auto odds. Uh, we're going to be fighting in a horrible thing. We are very high mass. We're actually really anti them. Oh, that is a lot of archers. Uh, because we are a very high, but we are very much anti their their forces because they're very fast. They've got some high mass units. Like the Minotaurs are relatively high mass, but the Minotaurs, if they charge to my dwarves, will not really get the benefit of their mass because they're not that high mass. Quarrelers! Long be it! of spell-breaking. Quarrelers! For the caravan! Oh, even better. They're going to come to me. He can be broken off just in case. They're not gonna do that, but. You know, we're not actually gonna get to shoot any earlier, so. Range far, range fast! Oh, whoa, 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 what did I do? What did I do? Take out. Let's hit that middle unit because that one's already wavering. Nothing can stop us. Those minotaurs, what we really need to take out. Come on, relax. 
fight them. Use your red axe of Karake to be. Oh, he, he jumped to attack and fell on his face. I'm forming a wall here guys is to try and soak the fire with shields forwards because I don't want them shooting into the back too much. Him out. Oh, this is already over. Nice, solid victory there for us, guys. Basically, I, I just didn't want to leave um, the, the, the beast men there because they are dangerous. Uh, they could have snuck past me easily. My archers, again, easily did have won that battle for us. They did most of the damage. That said, there wasn't much for my actual troops to fight other than minotaurs and a. And a your one universe spears and the lord so hardly surprising they didn't have much to actually kill oh and the dogs in fact most of their kills probably came from the dogs because the minotaur units are only like 12 units so and we lost 34 good dwarves today guys I do wish we got a leadership buff. For the wisdom of Valaya, as the High King commands. Now the danger is I am now have put myself a wall for but I'm I'm not upset by that. Lord of Clan Borgrim. Anyway, we are going to end this one here, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have been enjoying this. And please feel free to pop any comments on the comments section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There is a link to my Discord and um, in the comments and the description as well as links to my Twitter and my Patreon. And I do have my first Patreon now so thank you very much for that. And my affiliations with Fanatical and Overclockers UK. Um, otherwise, as always, if you have enjoyed this and you are new, new to my channel, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for your time, guys.